festive mood. Alex sat down on the windowsill and looked out the window. It was dark outside, and something like rain or sleet was falling from the sky. The weather became worse. People like ants were running along the wet pavement, hurrying home. Cars were honking at each other while moving slowly along the road. I wonder how things with my mom and dad are," thought Alex. "They should be back from work pretty soon." At this moment, Alex grew thoughtful. He jumped from the window and ran into the kitchen, calling for his nanny. Anna, tell me how I can make my parents happy. I want to create a festive mood in the house today," said Alex. The nanny turned away from the stove and looked at Alex with excitement. "What a great idea! And I will help you with it, of course," she answered with a smile. "You're right." It is very important to remember that we need smiles and occasional small holidays for ourselves. A good mood is the best medicine for all troubles. I'll bake an apple pie for your parents, and meanwhile, you can prepare small gifts for them. You can draw a beautiful picture. Or make something with modeling clay," said the nanny. Alex liked the idea very much, and he immediately ran to his room. The ideas were already spinning in his head. Having reached his room, Alex sat down at the table. Then he took out a sketchbook with blank pages and his new colored pencils. Since the weather outside is nasty and cold, I will draw a bright, warm sun on a cloudless sky for my mom. Alex decided. He took a yellow pencil out of the box. And began to carefully draw a circle. Alex already knew how to draw many shapes: a square, a triangle, a rhombus. But a circle was especially difficult to draw. He was doing his best. First, he got only ovals. But soon he drew an almost perfect circle. Then he colored it and drew the rays. The first ray, the second ray, the third. The sun turned out exactly as he planned it. Very cheerful and bright, and immediately made the boy feel warm when he looked at it. Then Alex took a blue pencil in his hand and began to color the sky. He had to color almost the entire sheet, but now there was nothing else in the picture except for the sun. And the sky. The sky seems to be missing something, thought Alex. So he took a brown pencil and drew birds. The picture was so beautiful. 
The sun was smiling in the blue, cloudless sky, and the birds were flapping their wings in unison. Mom will like this picture for sure," said Alex, and put the sheet of paper aside. Now he was facing an even more difficult task. He wanted to make a tall tree from the clay, but he couldn't decide what kind of tree. Suddenly, Alex remembered that New Year's and Christmas were coming soon, and there was still no Christmas tree in their house. Every year, shortly before the holiday, Dad brought home a large and full Christmas tree. Then they usually turned on cheerful music and slowly decorated the tree. Even their cat Felix helped them by rolling colorful balls with his paw on the floor. So Alex decided to make a clay Christmas tree. He wanted the gift to remind his dad about the upcoming holidays. First, Alex made a brown rectangle. It was a tree trunk. Then he attached one green triangle to it. Then. Another one, a bit smaller, and one more, a tiny one. Now a very beautiful and rather tall tree was ready. At that moment, he heard the car pulling into the garage. Hooray! Mom and Dad are home. Alex shouted happily. He picked up the gifts he had made and quickly ran into the dining room. The delicious smell of apple pie was coming from the kitchen. Mom and Dad were standing in the doorway, and the nanny was about to leave. Her family was waiting for her at home. Alex came up to his parents and handed both of them a gift. How beautiful it is! Mom smiled, looking at the picture. Thank you, Alex," added Dad, holding the clay tree in his hands. "But I have a present for you too." Dad went outside and soon returned with a big green, real fir tree. Alex froze with surprise, then hugged his dad tightly. After a while, the family gathered to have dinner. Everyone was in a cheerful mood and. Even Felix the cat was playfully running on the floor and rolling colorful balls with his paw. Mom, Dad, look! Alex shouted and pointed to the window. It wasn't raining outside anymore. Now white snow was slowly falling from the sky. You should keep smiling and look for ways to create a festive mood for your loved ones and those around you. You don't have to look for a special reason. All you need to do is show a bit of care and love. Remember that a friendly smile and a good mood work. Wonders. Now settle down comfortably in your bed and go to sleep. Tomorrow you will start a new 
Happy day.